district. Uh, generally, about 65 candidates have been nominated today, and out of these, seven have been nominated to run for the Woman Member of Parliament for Kampala District. This means that on average, we have about six people contesting for the nine elective positions in Kampala. The constituencies of uh, Lubaga South, Lubaga North, we have Kawempe South, Kawempe North, we have Machindia East, Machindia West, we have Kampala Central, we have Nakawa West and Nakawa East. Today, the exercise has been smooth with less pomp and excitement given the fact that the numbers have been limited at the headquarters to avoid, uh, to avoid any further spread of COVID-19. We spoke to some of the candidates and they told us about their experience. We shall continue to be the voice of the voiceless, those that are doing business, those that are dwellers in the city, even those that just come in to harness the beauty and the opportunities that are in the city of Kampala. We are here and I've come today in a tractor and a rubbish car following me behind. So we are here to work, I'm here to lobby for you. So just do one thing, just say yes to Nambi Farida and work is going to begin in Kampala district. I have been tested over time. I have been tested beyond persecution. I have been tested to be able to speak truth to power in this regime. People of Kampala, Electoral Commission has now duly nominated me. Please give me your votes because I am the one woman who has all it takes to represent you in Parliament. Yes. Uh, by the grace of God, I sit at the high table where the president is serving. So if you've got someone who sits at the high table, you can expect at least to get some. 20 years, we have not had better representation at all. We haven't had a, a voice of people of Nakawa. And that is, that, that is one of the reasons that brings me on board. Another outstanding issue was the return of what you would call the old guard. People who have been in the politics of Kampala and this time have come back again. This included Kenny Ruchams, who wants to regain his seat as member of parliament for uh, Luvaga South. We also had Sebulima Mutumba Mudwa Ulida for Kawempe South and Margaret Nantongo Ziwa, who is a former member of parliament for Kampala district, who wants to stand, who, or who has been duly nominated to stand in Kawempe West constituency. We also spoke to them. For as long as I'm still paying tax, you cannot weed me out. Who are you? Two, in terms of demography, it is suicidal for a people to invest in one generation in terms of years. Because they can weed out and you have a virtue, as happened in Japan after the Second World War. We, whom you called older, who have refused to vacate the, the, the positions. It's not about vacating the positions. It's about articulating the issues of your constituency. What do the people need? What is it that is making them suffer? Yet they have got leaders at different levels. Kampala District Returning Officer Frederick Muwaya has told us today that the exercise has been generally peaceful without any of the candidates stand away for any of the, their documents not meeting the required standards by the Electoral Commission. Today we have not turned down anybody. Actually, the approach that we adopted as uh, a district here is that we asked everybody to bring their documents for us to verify them. They brought their documents, we looked at any of the shortcomings that we would observe within their documents. Some of them had to do with academic papers, some of them had to do with um, uh, statutory uh, declarations and deed polls, and we advised them on what to do. So apparently we managed to rectify most of their issues. Uh, some of them we are expecting them to rectify them by end of today and probably be able to be nominated tomorrow. Tomorrow will be the final day of the nominations here in Kampala and it is expected that about 20 candidates will further come and nominate for the nine constituencies we have in Kampala. That has been the mood today and back to you, Andrew Chamagero in the studios. Well, thank you.